So if we think about this one for two seconds, same look, same build, same performance. Those three questions. It's the same question we had to ask ourselves. So when we started developing corporate filters, we looked at, are they all the same? Do they have the same capability? Inconsistent quality and cleanliness, excuse me, inconsistent quality and cleanliness was one of our biggest issues. Not every filter, when we went to test them, was meeting the same standards over and over again. Well, to ensure I get the best capability for the equipment that I'm delivering to you, I need to ensure I'm getting the best products in, to me before they even go on to that system. Old products, 60 year old designs, a lot of legacy products. So we had to look at what is the best capability and the full piece of that filter. So every component that goes into making that filter to ensure we get the best capability. So the media packs, the end plates, the center tubes, the seals, the cans, the top plate, all those components we had to specifically look at to make sure we're getting the best product. So when we come and we talk about those design and shortcomings, as I mentioned here, that's what we're talking about, all those specific components. So as we developed it, we have our own lab capabilities. We can do all the testing to meet the ISO requirements and beyond. Multi-pass, burst tests, fuel cleanliness, initial cleanliness testing, structure capability, as far as addition to burst, we got collapse, impulse fatiguing, flow fatigue, vibration fatigue. Because again, we know what that filter is being put on. The engine, the machine. I need to ensure that it meets the best life it can on that piece of equipment. So as we develop those filters, you can see here, all the different components that I mentioned before, the all metal housing, the center tube, the end caps, making sure that meets the specific standards that we set upon ourselves in order to give you, the customer, the best value that we can get. Air filters, same way. We test the air filters on the pieces of equipment to ensure you get the best value. So when we talk about our filters and fluids, we're not talking about just manufacturing the pieces of equipment, putting a filter on there and saying, okay, here's the product. No, because we know we're responsible for the machine and the equipment as a whole. So we're going to make sure we get the best product. Again, as we talk about this, we finish up. It's not just the attributes and benefits. So it's not just those components, those pieces. It's not just the engineering and the know-how behind that. It's not just the testing. It's a combination of everything there is in order to get the best product. So as I showed you earlier, now that you've seen the information, We've had some good discussions. When you look at that total owning operating cost and that 3% for your filters and fluids, do you think it's worth going to a lower performing product in order to save a small portion at 3% that can have a direct effect on all those other components where you may not be able to get the best owning operating cost that you expect? Thank you.